ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about DJ Self, okay? I know I haven't made a video on DJ Self in a long time. I think I've only made one. But anyways, if you guys do not know, honey, Mr. DJ Self is feeling himself, okay? You cannot tell this man shit. He don't want to got himself a male weave, honey. He said he was tired of the damn ball Michael Jordan look. He wanted some damn hair on his head. He went and got a male weave, and I think, honestly, he looks so good. It made him look even younger. You can tell his confidence was up. He looks good. But, of course, the haters started dragging him on social media, and so DJ Self decided to address the situation after he ran all around New York City trying to get other guys to get male weaves like Offset and Davido and everyone else. It was just a mess. Y'all go ahead and check out these videos, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You see what's going on, Flex? You see what's going on, Commodore? Summer's about to be lit. Ooh, uh, yo, just so lit, dropping this, I'm dropping the sunroof already. And not the sunroof over here. The sunroof right here. Woohoo! Yo, y'all need to get your shit right, man. I'm just saying. Like, you see, I am about to get the waves too. Woohoo! I'm about to get the waves too. Oh, it's over for ladies. Listen, hit me up right now. Slide in my DM. I'm available. Hit me up. I'm just saying. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? Ooh. Crazy. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Oh, I'm not done. You see what it is? Ooh. You see that? Steve. Yo, so listen, Davido. Listen, I can get your shit right too, nigga. I can get your shit right too, nigga. I, I can get your shit right, nigga. Nah, my shit real. My shit real, though. My shit still real. Still That's real. all right, son. I can get your shit right, nigga. Yeah, nigga. You see that shit, smooth, nigga? Look at smooth. Look at smooth. Yeah, though. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Want you to bust it for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And hey, listen. I get you one too. It's all good. Yeah, I man. get you one of these niggas. It's all right, nigga. <laughs> so look, bust it. I'm gonna end the day off like this, right? Um, like a lot of people hitting me on the side or texting me, or yo, um, you know, it looks good. That looks good. Your hair enhancement, it looks good. Fuck what other people say. They hating. Listen, don't don't congratulate me or tell me it look good on the low. Like you're saying in public. That's the problem. Like, a lot of people out here don't want to admit things or, or whatever because two or three people say something look funny or something like that. Nah, my, my DMs is crazy. Like, no capping. Look, I'm so, look, no capping. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even here for that. But then I start seeing why girls get, like, breasts and, and, and ass enlargements because now, bad girl, oh, you look good. And I guess that's what dudes do. Yo, shorty got a fatty now. She look good. So I guess that's why people do certain things. You know what I mean? But congratulate them in public. Don't do it on the low. It's, I'm out here. All right, so you guys just heard what DJ Self said. He said, do not tell me my male weave is fire in my DMs. You better write that shit in the damn comments, okay? Don't give me props behind the scenes. Give me props in public. And I agree with him. And to be honest, I ain't mad at DJ Self, you know what I'm saying? DJ Self looks nice. I think the male weave looks good on him. But anyways, DJ Self ain't alone in this male weave venture, okay? This is becoming a really popular trend on social media, especially Instagram. You know, a lot of these barbers are now turning into damn wizards, okay?
like these beauticians were wizards. You know what I mean? They were taking over Instagram, doing all, you know, slaying all this nice ass weave. Now these barbers are magicians. They are literally turning guys who look like they're damn near 50, okay, with their receding hairlines and everything else and making them look young and youthful again, okay? You can just see the confidence in these men. You can see the glow in their eyes. You can just, you know, just see like their self-esteem getting boosted, you know what I mean? So I don't blame him for wanting to do this. He's not the only one. If you guys don't know, Milan Christopher, he debuted his male weave the other day for his birthday. Now, usually he's rocking a bald head, but he decided to go get a male weave. And when I tell you, he was looking good, honey. How you doing? <laughs> I know he don't play for this team, but, you know, I can still, you know, I can, I can still wonder, bitch. Anyways. <laughs> you know, and I like the fact that DJ Self was saying, you know, now I get why women, you know, turn around and get breast implants and get their ass done. Because you go from looking like a regular schmegler chick to, you know, everybody trying to holler at you like, yo, ma, what's up, ma, what's good? And that's how he feels. You know, he went from just being DJ self to, you know, now that he got that male weave, it's like, hey, daddy, how you doing, daddy? <laughs> So you can definitely tell DJ Self is feeling himself, honey. You can't tell him shit. So I want to get the conversation popping. We talked about this about two years ago when male weave started becoming a trend. Y'all were like, oh, this is not going to catch on. This is Fugazi. Okay, well, now some of these major celebrities are out here, you know, getting male weaves and getting hairline transplants like Safari and Tiger and, you know, all these guys. So my thing is this, okay? I know a lot of people are trying to knock them and say, oh, that's whack. You know, you're, you're acting like a female. You know, I feel like if you want to do something to enhance yourself, if you're, you know, insecure about something and you really feel the need to change it for yourself, not for others, I'll never knock anybody doing that. I don't care if you're flat chested, you want some bigger titties because, you know, you're insecure about that. That's your business. OK, that has nothing to do with me. If you want to, you know, fix your hairline or get a male weave, that's your business. But what I hate is the hypocrisy. OK. I don't think women, especially if you wear weave, have any business knocking a man who chooses to wear weave. Because I see a lot of girls like, oh, this is false advertising. Oh, he ain't about to get all that shit on my pillow. And it's like, ma, really? You walking around here with a damn 28-inch silky Mingsu weave, okay? And you're trying to knock guys for getting male weaves? You know, stop with the hypocrisy. If it's okay for women to do it, then men should be able to do it as well. The reason why a lot of women get weaves is, you know, to change their look up and, you know, have their hair, you know, be more fuller and try different styles. It's the same thing for these guys. I don't think there's nothing wrong with this. And another thing... Now that men are out here getting weaves, I don't want to hear shit else about, you know, black women need to stop wearing weaves and black women need to leave weaves in 2018, like Meek was saying. No, how about you let people do what they want to do to their aesthetics, okay? If they like it, I love it. That's their business. If you want to wear your hair natural, wear your hair natural. If you want to wear a weave to the floor, as long as you're not hurting anybody, that is your choice. You know what I'm saying? I wear my hair natural, you know, sometimes. I think I did a live like three weeks ago and I had my big old afro on the live. And then other times, you know, I'm saying I feel like wearing some Ming Su silky straight hair that's my damn business but my key and my point from day one to everybody who knows me is regardless of what you put on top of your head make sure your real hair your natural hair is well maintained well conditioned and well taken care of do not take care of your weave better than you take care of the hair that God gave you that's growing out your scalp that's always been my mantra you know what I'm saying so as long as you're doing that I have no issues with it but I think this male weave trend is definitely going to catch on I think a lot of guys are already doing this but they're just not saying anything they're just playing crazy I don't know how long this male weave lasts I don't know what's going to happen if I happen to run into DJ self and I happen to just dump water on his head I mean will his male weave just you know like just disintegrate I don't know I don't know how it works but I do know that DJ self looks good okay I might have to slide in his DMs my damn self okay anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning DJ stuff getting a man weave honey and blasting people don't give me props in my dm you better shout that shit from the rooftops and let people know that this damn male weave is fire anyways y'all go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts all right deuces